Hi everybody, in this video we're going to continue with the Extreme Motorcycle game, or Motorbikes game. This game is from the Google Play Store, and it is made by Extreme Game Studio. Now, what we're going to do in this video is going to be the left and right button. We're going to do the stoppy button, the, the brake button, and also the acceleration button. We're going to do something simple for all of this, and then later on we will make it more advanced. So let's just get started. I have started with adding these buttons. As you can see, they are not in any way nice looking. This is just so you guys could understand what they are. Left, right button, stoppy button, brake button, and gas button. And these are just done in the canvas. I'm just using a regular button with Text Mesh Pro text. So it would be, I guess, considered a button Text Mesh Pro. And then I just positioned them where I need it to be and I anchored it where it needs to be. So for the gas, it's on the right side. For well, actually, I did not anchor it for this one, so I will do that now. So there you go, it's anchored for the left side, and that's about it. So let's just get started. First thing we're gonna do is add a script on our motorcycle, and we're just gonna name it Motorcycle. You can name it whatever you want, but that's what I'm gonna name it. And we're just gonna open it up in Visual Studios. And now that it is open in Visual Studio, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the start and the update because we are gonna need it for this, but we are gonna, well, I am gonna erase the system.collections and system.collections.generic and we're gonna I'm gonna start adding the variables so we're gonna add a serialized float or field and it's gonna be type float so float and this is gonna be the motor torque we're also gonna have one for brake torque another one for max steering angle max speed and also motorcycle motorcycle rotation now i'll explain what all these are really quick so motor torque the torque of the motorcycle uh brake torque how much torque the brake gives max steering angle so how how far of an angle you could steer this is just the max speed and motorcycle rotation this is going to be for the stoppy so we'll you'll see what we'll do with that in a bit we're also going to need serialized field and we're just going to need wheel colliders so wheel collider and then it will be the front wheel collider and the back wheel collider now after that we're going to add some private variables there's going to be a private rigid, rigid body we're just going to name it rb there's going to be public and we're going to have public static bulls now static bull public static bulls or anything static is a little bit different so when something is static whatever okay let's say we have multiple motorcycles and if i have something static this these variables will apply to all the motors or all the game objects that have this motorcycle class so let's say that for instance these right here we can manipulate and each individual one will be different can be different in each game object but a static variable will not be different if it is let's say 0 or let's say 10 in one game object it's going to be 10 in the other game object and the other game object as for these type of variables you could change them and they could be different between game objects hopefully that made any sense if not I'll explain it a little better when I go into more detail in a separate video but let's just continue in this video we're gonna have public static bulls the reason we have we're gonna have these is just so we could be able to access these variables in a different script very easily so we're gonna put is accelerating is braking is turning left and then is turning right and one more which is going to be is doing stopping so this is just going to be so we could check to see if we're doing any of these things so for the star we're actually going to put a wait because we want this to happen as soon as this fires and we're just going to put rb equals get component and then these brackets right here this less than and greater sign than sign and rigid body and the parentheses and after that we're just going to put in the update we're going to put if is accelerating so if that's equal to true if this is equal to true we're going to put rear wheel or back wheel collider dot motor torque equals math f dot clamp not the zero one but just regular clamp and then we're going to put motor torque and then negative max speed and positive max speed so this is pretty much just going to clamp this value so it won't go less than or it won't go higher than negative max speed and max speed so, and you could also do the front wheel collider if you don't want the back wheel to be where the the actual force comes from so if you wanted it to be like 
some kind of front wheel drive uh, motorcycle you could do it like that as well then we're gonna put else so if it isn't if it's not accelerating we're gonna put rear wheel or back wheel collider dot motor torque is gonna be equal to zero and then we'll continue with the braking so if is braking we're gonna put uh, these curly brackets because we're going to need more than one line of code. We're going to put front wheel collider dot brake torque is going to be equal to brake torque and then rear or back wheel collider dot brake torque is going to be equal to brake torque as well. So both wheels will help um, with the braking. And then we're just going to put else and kind of similar to this. So let's actually just copy this. We're going to put this equal to zero and we're going to continue and then we're going to put float then we're going to put a steering angle equals zero now te technically this is not something you would want to do because it's in the update function but later on like i said we i will fix this and make this a little better and if we need to we will optimize this if not it's better not to optimize anything if you do not need to so if the game is running perfectly fine then there's no point of doing it because it's going to run perfectly fine regardless so we're just going to keep this for now and i'm going to put if is turning left so if it's turning left then we're going to we're going to put steering angle equal to negative max steering angle else if is turning right so if we're turning right steering angle is going to be equal to max steering angle and then right underneath all this we're just going to put front wheel collider dot steering angle is going to be equal to steering angle and then we're just going to do the stoppy part which is if doing stoppy and then back the curly brackets we're gonna do motorcycle rotation plus equals 0.0001F. This value you could adjust it, but this is pretty much the value that uh, gets added to this rotation. So it looks like you know we're doing a stoppy. So let me go back now. I'm gonna put object to rotate. Oh, actually, we didn't even put that. What I'm gonna put is actually transform dot rotate so it's going to rotate the actual motorcycle by motorcycle rotation so on the x value and then zero on the y and then zero on the z and then we're just going to put else so if we're not doing that stopping we're just going to put transform dot rotation equals quaternion dot identity now this is pretty much it for this motorcycle script but we still have to find a way to make this true make this false all this stuff and by using these buttons in unity when you actually make a button like these buttons right here and you click on it it doesn't it only registers a click not really like holding the button so what you could do is add a script to each button for example this one right here i'll put gas button and then we'll open it up now with this gas button what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna be using unity engine the event systems so event systems handles all like the clicks and stuff like that when the mouse enters something when it exits something all that and we could actually delete all this now later on we might be using the mono behavior but for now we really aren't what we are going to be using it's going to be an eye pointer down ha handler and an eye pointer up handler so what that means is when i actually click on it like when i actually hold down on it and when i release it this is what is going to be used for the to see if i'm actually holding down the button or not if you see there's actually more there's eye pointer click handler this would be exactly like the button there's enter so this just checks to see when the mouse enters the button even if it didn't click it or anything exit is to see when it's on the button see when it actually exits the button even if it don't click it or anything move is if you're actually moving the button like dragging it i pointer up handler that's the one we're going to use right now and there's a bunch of different other ones so what we're using is just going to be the i pointer down handler and i pointer up handler now you'll see we get these errors all you got to do is right click it go to quick actions and refraction or refracting or you could push control plus and then the dot or a period and then just put implement interface it'll give us this function and do the same for the other one and it'll give us this function or if you know the function by name just type it in 
make sure you type this in the parentheses and then just erase this this pretty much let's say uh, you don't do anything and you just run it like this when this function gets called it's just gonna throw an exception uh, like an error or a warning we're just gonna erase those and what we're gonna do for this gas button all we're gonna do is type in motorcycle dot is accelerating equals true so when it's pressed down it's gonna be equal to true and then when we actually release the button it's gonna be equal to false now you're just gonna have to do that for every button so for the break we're gonna make another script call it break button and now on the brakes button we're gonna do the same thing so what we could do is actually go to our gas button copy all of this from the comma down go to our break button and just paste it and erase all this of course a better approach would actually be go like this and highlight everything then paste it and then also if this doesn't get included just include it yourself remember it's unity engine dot event systems and all we're gonna have to do is since this is the break button put is breaking equals true copy and paste is breaking equals false and like I said just do that for the rest of the buttons and I will bring you guys back when I am finished okay so I'm done so it pretty much should look like this this there should be like a stoppy button and then you check if it's doing stop equals true check if it's doing false or if you when the pointer is up you make it equal to false there's the right button now this is when you push down you just put is turning right equals true when you look let go or release it is turning right equals false same thing the left button and let's test it out now we're gonna go to our actual byte and adjust these values for this one I'm gonna add probably like 5,000 a thousand max steering 45 max speed we'll put something like I don't know 280 and then motorcycle rotation we don't have to put nothing at all I was just actually testing it so you could actually just either leave it there to test it or just add it as a private float so you could add it as a float and then motorcycle rotation this was just for testing purposes so you could just leave it at zero if you want and then we just got to add the wheel collider so if we go to our wheel colliders there's the front wheel collider and the back wheel collider if you guys haven't added added the wheel colliders yet go to your your bike the main parent make sure you have a rigid body that it has a mass of a thousand five freeze the rotation on the X and the Z so it doesn't flip and all that uh, just on the Y so we could actually be able to you know turn it there's the box collider that you have to add so it's this actual box you just have to add this if you don't add this box collider it's pretty much just gonna flip the bike everywhere it's gonna make it like bounce around and all that so just make sure that the bike pretty much goes around or the box collider goes around the bike around the legs it don't really have to be exactly like this but make sure it kind of is flush with the bottom kind of covers the bottom a bit top all that and then we got our script right here for the wheel colliders here's the front wheel collider i just put a massive two for both front and back the radius is 0.23 but it might be different in yours depending on your wheel size and i just moved it over here to the back and here's the one for the front if you guys have any questions on how to set that up just let me know in the comments below and i will gladly help you guys now if i hit play everything technically should work so if i hit the gas button you can see that motorcycle moves if i hit the brake button you can see it stops so let me kind of increase the speed a bit actually maximize this so as you can see he's moving he's moving and now if i hit brake takes a while but he breaks now the stoppy the stoppy i'm not i have to go back to the game i'm not sure if you could do a stoppy while standing still like this or if you actually have to have the gas pressed so i have to go back to the game but for now you can push the stoppy button and it will actually do it for you as you can see that little kind of glitch that we will fix in a later video like i said i just wanted to do the basics real quick so you guys could have that down and we could you know tweak that later on there's also this left and right uh turning buttons and i'll show you how that works right now so let me get a little bit of speed now when i turn it you can see this actually turns like that so what we could do is maybe just this a bit so it's still turning kind of funky and let's check the script i don't know why it was working Working earlier, let me see. Try to the side. Let's see. Right here, we could actually put else 
steering angle equals zero. So if they're both false, they're just gonna equal zero. And steering angle, we would have to put it up here as a private float. See if that helps. So it does churn, but kind of funny. Let's increase the max steering. Now it don't work at all. Let's okay. So I'm, I think we're just gonna work on the left and right buttons in a separate video. Just gotta figure out how to get the hang of it. It is working, but it's the reason that it looks so funky is because the actual bike's not churning with it. So if I show you real quick in the scene and I go to our game over here, if I move the right, you could see that the wheels actually turn the wheel colliders so they are turning it's just the bike ain't turning with it so i will add that in the next video as for the stoppy i did show you that you can do it while you're stopped but you could also do it while you're driving and later on we'll add a feature where you could actually crash and everything like that i think you might be able to make it flip if you go fast enough or if you do the stoppy for long enough so as you can see he actually flipped but when i let go he does go back to normal so that is another bug that we will fix in a later video so if you guys enjoyed this video if it was helpful in any way if you guys learned anything hit that like button also hit that subscribe button if you want to continue to see more videos like this we will continue with this series in the next video we might we're probably going to add these two right here which is the wheelie and the like burnout buttons and then if we even have if we have time in that video we'll go back to these buttons and tweak them out a bit and kind of fix them up and then later on we'll do the rest in a separate video but anyways once again thank you guys for watching and uh, but yeah that's about it for this video so don't forget to get that that video uh, a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already once again thank you guys